first thing we need to do is go to advancedcombatrack.com and download it. And then it's just an easy install. And then we start it. Get available parsing plugins. <clears throat> and select Final Fantasy here. Use this plugin. And we won't be using it with EverQuest, so no. And OK. And your log should be in your C drive, users, your user, app data, roaming, advanced combat tracker, and then Final Fantasy logs. And there it is. And restart it. <coughs> And here you see the Final Fantasy plugin working. And right now we have no uh, available, so let's start combat. And here you see we're in combat and the damage. And uh, you see these HP bars that pop up, they're quite ugly, but we can make them better. And we're gonna do that next. Turn the plugins, effect settings, overlay settings. Uh, here we have target, focus target, hover target, and target to target. I don't like the background here, so let's make them black. It makes them uh, transparent. And apply colors, and you see now the color vanished. Um, I don't need a name, uh, I want the font to be bigger. Uh, let's make 12. And let's just move it. There we go. And click through. Now I can't click on it anymore. That's good. And I'm gonna do the same with the target target. And you can do the same with the focus target if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you triggers, a few basic ones. Uh, triggers are very powerful. You can use them to tell you when you have buffs, when someone uses buffs, when mobs cost things. Uh, if you check here, there's for all the raids. I'm going to link a few different pages with the triggers. Here's one for Shinryu. Here's OS one two. Three and here's for the Sigma scapes uh, but right now we're just gonna use some simple like a ready check so you copy it and make sure you have the clamps and you click in ACT import XML and up here where you see TTS is text to speak and uh, you can just use voice sound or whatever you want up here um, and you can edit this to go 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 and click add again to save it let's do a countdown pulling in five and if you're unsure about what something sounds like you can just add like this you can click on the play button. Raya is a pooper one dollar.
Raya is a pooper 5. And I also added litany, so let's hear that sound. Litany. And it's time to download the overlays. The reason I picked these overlays is because Cackpot, something we're gonna add later, needs this version. So uh, yeah, we're gonna use it. The Rainbow Mage version does not work with it. Um, Cackbot, it's the timelines triggers. And then we have the ping one. When they're all downloaded, you need to right click on the files and check unblock, uh, unblock. And you need to do this with all three. And we just move the DLL files into the root ACT show folder. And then we go to overlay plugin. I'm gonna make a folder, call it overlay plugin. The ping uh, overlay must be in the root directory. And these don't need it, and then it's cackpot. Here we have add-on and cackpot. We put it in the same place as the overlay. And it should be working. Let's start it up. You need to add the DLL files to plugins. Uh, first we start with the ping one. Just add it. And add enable plugin. And here it came up with the ping, some Chinese characters and 0%. Uh, the newest one, you can change the language in the options, but these will still be in Chinese and it's uh, packet loss. And we need to enable the rest. Overlay, and we add overlay plugin DLL. And you see this pop up when we're done. As you see, we have a overlay with the DPS, HPS, and accuracy and crit. And our overlay, when you start, there's a timer which I just removed because I don't need it. And we're gonna add the raid overlay. And we're gonna go to CactBot. And let's add. And then we need to click on URL. In the overlay plugins, we go CactBot, UI, Raid Boss, and double click the HTML and get this one. And uh, when you lock it, it goes transparent until it's needed. Uh, I would also recommend clicking click through so you don't accidentally move it around during uh, passes. Uh, these DPS meters are fine, but I prefer the one that comes with CACBOT. I'm gonna go. And we go out to UI again and we add DPS. And I prefer the top one. You can change them around as you want. Here's the new one. And if you want to change it around, you can just try the other one. And that's how that looks. I prefer the other one, so I'm going to change that. And we need to add the boss overlay we have over here. I'm gonna do the oopsie ready thingy. This is a dumbass uh, list pretty much. 
This is when you die of things, when you miss your ninjutsu, when you pull too early, when you get acceleration bombs, when you die, when you... yeah. And of course I forgot to tell you to change one thing. Uh, you need to go plugins, FFX settings, and include HP for triggers. Uh, it's a must for the rate add-on to work correctly. So just click it in and uh, restart your client. So it says I've now set up the plugins the way I want it. And I'm going to summer forward in the middle of Notion. And it's because it's a test place for uh, our rate timers. And I need to unmute you so you can hear the in-game voice. Pulling in five. And here you see the timers popping up. And I still haven't figured out how to change the sounds. I think they're kind of annoying and I don't want them at all. And here comes the really loud one. 